Hey, what's going on, guys? This is your boy Nick Returns back from the Madden video, and the lineup hasn't really changed that drastically. And yeah, I'm um, starting off the game late. Um, I got a kicker turn touch on the first play, and then do do an interception. I dove for it and whatever, and then it just caused a fumble. And that's all you see. The first thing is just me getting a fumble. And so I sucked this game, usering. And this man, Eric Gibron, I don't know what I don't know what overall he is, but he's fucking awesome. It's annoyed me because I could not really stop him the whole game. He just kept throwing to Eric Ebron. And then right there, what's his face? That jo yeah, Josh Norman broke the hell of that pass. And it worked out pretty good in my opinion because he didn't do anything. And this man got D'Angelo Williams as well. And as you see, I'm rocking them Steelers uniforms. And they look pretty raw. Uh, I like I like different uniforms. Patriots uniforms are just so blah. And then there's me blowing my coverage like usual. And I make this video talking about some shit that's been going on. In school, right? And so, prom is next week as the type of this recording. Today's Thursday, and the prom is the n next Thursday. And um, I'm a fucking little bitch. I never asked anybody. And so, yeah, I'm just going to be talking about this video. and just doing some other shit like I usually do. And as you see, Kai Rudolph is the, is the bomb. And so I was um, Todd Gurley, but instead for that fumble he had in the beginning. And, you know, just keep running the ball. Uh, I had a, I have a really good run game. No, no offensive line, more like run blocking and the better stuff like that. And I like to run a lot. And then um, throw it off to the flat. Didn't go anywhere at all. He went out of bounds. And I'm starting off okay. This game is a kind of like, not a nail biter, but it's kind of good. And Todd Gurley with the juke. There was other juke. And then I chucked that man. And then I almost got a touchdown. I believe I could have if he like had more energy. And then off tackle, I hurry up offense. I just didn't show that. And Bruno Dion Lewis, you know, get that touchdown. You know, you know how Dion does. He's fucking awesome. He just, he's he's awesome. Yeah, I explained him. Starting off in defense. Well, not starting off. And I didn't. My defense is in the works, kind of. I keep trying to figure out a playbook to use. It's just not working out, really. I mean, I, it's not really working out. And D'Angelo Williams is just so, like, elusive and, like, you get truck. Not that truck. You mean, like, you juke the shit out of you and do anything, really. It was annoying me. And then you blow my coverage again with Khalil Mack, and I dove for no reason. It was pretty funny. And I'm um, using Khalil Mack right now. Trying to see what I can do. And then he throws it to him, and thank God Josh Norman blocked that because he probably would have caught it and probably would have, like, done something. And he went tossed to the right, and he, like, He's just so fast, and then he ran out of bounds. He would have scored on that play. Thank God he didn't, though. Thank God. <laughs> um, he's for Kendricks right now, and then he runs up the, mm, the right side. Yeah, and the reason I haven't been uploading many videos, guys, if you guys do watch my videos, I don't have any subscribers that watch any of my videos. Uh, yeah, um, it's because football season's starting to start back up, and I've been going to OTAs, like, Small practices Monday and Wednesday, and you know, just school and stuff, and you know, you know how it is. And so, running that 4 3 defense, that's a pretty good D lineman. I got something, somebody else, and somebody else, I don't know what their names are. <laughs> um, yeah, he just dumped that off to whoever number 12 was. And without the two yard line, I think he scored on this play. I don't know, no, he didn't. Um, yeah, I got an interception. Ronald Darby picked the shit off. 22 seconds left. And my defense is doing pretty good. They had a total of three interceptions this game, and that was pretty good. I hit him with the PA scissors to the, the right side of the field, and I love that play so much. It's It just works every time. And, yeah, I'm just tossing to Philly Brown, you know, rat catch it, that shit, and just, I thought I wasn't going to celebrate. I just, I just walked in the end zone, basically. He does a little LeBron James celebration right there. You know how we do. And, um, Jordan. Cameron Jordan, I think that's his name. I don't know what his name is, but he's pretty good. He's better than Vic Beasley, the one from the Journey 3. The Journey 3, um, they give you is, the player they give you is pretty ass cheeks. And so I just like, yeah, new dude Cameron Jordan. I think that's his name. Let me check real quick. I'm on Madden. Um, I'm going to check his name. I don't want to be wrong. Oh, yeah, I think, it, yeah, it's Cameron Jordan. Cameron Jordan, 92 overall left end on the Saints final edition. Um... And then blow my coverage again. He all, oh, he almost got out. Eric Ebron's one tricky motherfucker. Now he's he's pretty good for uh, a base. I think it's a low elite. And then I blow my coverage again. You know, Kendrick's just too slow. He's a 90 speed, but he's just really slow. 
And then, um, who was that? Is that, um, yeah, Jordan coming off the end? And he just gets a sack. Yeah, that was pretty raw. You know, the 4 3 defense is okay sometimes, but it doesn't work out half the times. So I'm using the Raiders um, defense, and it was okay. I, get, I don't know what I just did right there. I dove backwards, kind of. I don't know what True Fault was doing right there. It really was weird. Yeah, this man came out with no running back. Third down and eight on the 21 yard line. And then he tosses up to Ebron. No, that was Amari Cooper, actually. He caught throw to Amari Cooper. He just ran over my dude. And I started, like, struggling the last, like, two quarters. I couldn't get anything going. I was, like, consistently, like, fucking up. But I think, I don't know if I got a first down of this on, on this drive. Yeah, I did. I got lucky. No, I didn't. I didn't catch that at all. Never mind. <laughs> oh, God, I've been messing up lately. So, sorry for the quality of the videos. Um... That's another reason. Uh, Toss it to flats to Philly Brown. I don't know what I was thinking there. It's pretty dumb. Then I um, no huddle and I do a QB dive in the in the back empty empty backfield and it actually worked out because people are thinking oh it's gonna be like a verts pass and then nope it's gonna be a fucking QB dive with Teddy Bridgewater and then I, I dive you know and then we had to cut the Tiger in the background backfield I should say he jukes that man. Almost got out. He he would have had bright open like daylight. I probably would have won the game right there. Forgot who I threw it to on this play. Oh yeah, I just ran to Teddy Bridgewater. Was a fucking beast. You know, I get like a couple, not a couple yards. I get some pretty good yardage. Um, he's pretty raw. And then I go out and screen this play. I don't think it gets anywhere. I don't go with the screen. I do halfback off tackle. And so I run with him. He just gets shut down. Some of my run plays get shut down a lot. It's not really good, but you know, it happens. And then I tried to no huddle back to my original play, and I just didn't get anywhere at all. It didn't really work out. And so, right here, it's third and 14. I'm doing one of those other passes. I get sacked. I don't know who that was, but he just came out of nowhere. And so, I punched the ball. It didn't really go anywhere. I don't know what happened. Uh, he had a pretty good return, I should say. He just keeps wanting to Ebron. You know, Ebron's like a goat to this man. Like, if this man was like, like I don't understand, but he's just throws it to him every every damn play. It's like the only receiver that he uses. And then I try to throw it to Amari. He didn't catch it, thank Jesus. And so my my DBs are pretty good. Um, my safeties are at least. And then he does a uh, screen. I had man coverage on that play. So it didn't really work out in my benefit. And so it's third inches. This man does a QB sneak. Which is pretty weird. I don't see anybody usually do a QB sneak. Two minutes left in the fourth quarter. And this man didn't play the fourth quarter really good at all. He just, um, he didn't chew clock or anything. I thought he was going to do that. Um, you know, he touched down. And then I, the ball bounces back. So it's 21-21. I go back. I juke that man out. Juke that man out. And no, I just like spin move. 22 yard line, a whole minute, 29 seconds left. I do PA all go right first play. I try to toss it up to Cooper. It gets deflected, and then whoever the fuck that was just came out of nowhere, intercepted that. That was Chung. It's Patrick Chung. He just intercepted my pass with one minute and 22 seconds left. And at, at this part, I thought I was going to lose the game because it's a minute, 22 seconds left. He has the ball. He can literally easily drive downfield and just kick a field goal. But this man was stupid. He was running run plays. I mean, he wasn't really stupid, but that was, a, that was a good play. But he just wasn't too clocking. He just letting the clock go, out, go down by itself. He just kept running those toss plays. It gets stuffed up by my really good defense. And then he called timeout. 49-yard line. Yeah, I don't know what happened that play. And fucking something happened. I think I deleted the clip. But whatever. Oh, interception. I got the user pick, baby. To save the game. User interception to save the fucking game. Let's go. And I do a four verts out of that formation. I toss it up to Kyle Rudolph. And so I got one timeout left on the 40 yard line. I try to drive downfield. So I, I run PA. I'll go again to see if it'll work. And I throw it to Kyle Rudolph again. He's wide fucking open. He trucks that man. He's like, get the fuck out my way. And he just waves the fucking ball at the defense. Like, you're a pile of shit. You suck. And like, I'm just fucking awesome. I go for the two point conversion just to gloat a little bit. And I'm tricking with doing a run play at first just so he knows, like, you know, and then I just do a slant and I just do it to Kai Rudolph. And so he has the ball. 
Uh, nine seconds left. He's a 42 yard line. Man, I deleted a lot of footage on accident. Oh god. Oh, who cares? And, you know, I thought he was gonna do out like some Hail Mary shit, but you know, he just throws it up to what wherever his face was. Um, and he almost caught it. He almost caught that shit, and I would have like freaked the fuck out because he had one timeout left too. And so he tossed it. He checked down. I don't know what he's doing. I think he just gave up. He's trying to make something happen. It didn't really work out in his favor. And so that's the end of the game, guys. I won 29-21 in a kind of a nail biter with my squad with using the Steelers uniforms. And yeah, coming up with the highlights, I had like 300 like passing yards. No, he had 300 passing yards. I had 275 passing yards. Oh, whatever. Well, fuck you, bitch. You get no respect. This is what hoppers coming for your neck. Bless. All you care about is making money. You don't care about a fucking soul, though. You just fluctuate our dollars up and down at your convenience like a fucking pogo. You've been screwing everybody on the label on the low, and they don't even know, though. So good luck, Jaren, Dizzy, Hopper, Swizz. I'm going solo.